Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. This time it's a user wish joint, and I think it's a pretty nice exercise for the shell command. Let's take a look at the drawing. There you go. So you could make a screenshot of that drawing and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, first I want to create a plane. So let's go for a datum plane. It should have a distance from this one and that distance should be 100. And confirm. Then I could add some points. So go for points. One should be at zero. And this should be 50, yes. And that value should be zero. Apply. Another one at zero zero fifty. Apply and one should be up there. And that one point would be at zero fifty and one hundred. And okay. Great. I might add another plane. So go for plane. Point and direction would be okay. This point and the direction would be the set C. That's okay. And confirm. Now, the first sketch would be on the right plane in this case. Confirm. And this might look something like this here. like that. Now let's add some constraints. So first include this plane, maybe that point here. Confirm. Now this one and that one should be collinear. This point and that point should be coincident. And of course this point here, the sketch origin, and that point here should be also coincident. Let's add some dimensions from this line to that one. This should be 20. Obviously caps lock was on 20. That distance should be 20. And this distance here should be 20 as well. Finish that sketch. No, there's one distance missing. So that distance should be 65. That's OK. 65. Yes, and now finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude, make it symmetric, make it 55. So go for symmetric value and make it 55 and confirm. Now I want to split that body. So go for more, go for split body, yes. Tool would be this one here, body is that one, tool is this one. And confirm. Let's switch from timestamp order to this view. Change that one here to top and this one here to bottom. And hide the bottom part. And let's go for a shell. So I want to have six millimeters, that's okay. I want to remove this side, that side, also this side, 
and no, this one not. That should stay here, but I need to have different thicknesses. So this one here should be 15. Add some more. This one and that one should be 7 millimeter and apply now I'll go for another one again six yes remove this one that one and this one here again go for different thicknesses so first one would be again this one it should be 15 just in case And those two here should be, so add another set, those should be 5 millimeter, which should give me here that 2 millimeter. Yes, that's okay. Hide that body, bring back the other one. Now go for another shell. Again, 6 millimeter, yes, this surface that face, this one and that one and I want to go for different thickness on those two and this should be 15, yes. So let's go here and select this surface on that surface and go for thickness of 15 which gives me 5 mm on both sides, that's ok, apply and go for this here and yes, and that one here this one and that one again it should be 6 mm, yes and a different thickness on this one and that one and this should be 13. So I would have to add another set. I forgot this. So select them again. Go for another set. And now select this one and that one. And go for 13 millimeter. Which should give me 2 millimeter. Yes, on both of those faces. Bring back the other body. Switch back to this, bring it back, switch back, and now unite those two, make this the target and that the tool, and confirm. Great. Now I need some more sketches. And some more extrudes. So let's go for another extrude. Use that first sketch here, this one here. So that would be the sketch. And I want to make it symmetric. And I want to go for 5 millimeter. And I want to unite it. And Confirm. Yes. Let's copy that first sketch by Control C and bring it back with Control V and just confirm. Now let's edit this one. Go there. And I need a line here. And that line should be collinear with this one. So go for include that plane. Okay, and make this one and that line here collinear. And now go for a trim. So this should be removed here, that should be removed. This up there should be removed as well. 
like that. Let's take a look. Is that okay? I hope so, because it's hard to see. Close and finish that sketch. Let's hide the first one. Yeah, it looks okay. And this will be another extrude. Now with that sketch here, with this one. Yes, make it again symmetric. And go for 40 millimeter. And again, it should be united. Yes. The input section. Oh, see, I didn't notice that. So go there, back there. It's hard to see. Trim it here. Yeah, I could have seen it. Close, go back. And now make that extrude with that sketch. And it should be well lit. And again, go for symmetric value and make it 14. Yes, and it should be united. Yes, and confirm. Great. Yeah. Now, another sketch on the top lane. Confirm. Let's take a look from here. Bring in that one here. So go for include, select that point. OK, put a circle right there. And the diameter should be 55. And enter. Finish that sketch. Make an extrude. Make it 20. And go for unite. Okay. Next sketch would be on the front plane. Yes, that's this one. Confirm. Again, bring in that point. Put a circle right there. And again, come on. Diameter is 55, like that. Finish that sketch as well and go for another extrude. Turn it around, make it 20 and go for Unite. Yes. The next one should be up here, so go for a sketch on that plane here. Confirm. Bring in that point. This one here. No, not that line, but that point. Yes. Go for OK. And then put a circle right there on this point. And this diameter should be 30. So let's go here and make this one 30. Finish that sketch and make another extrude. Turn it around, make it 20, and it should be united and confirm. Great. Now I can go for fillets and chamfers. Okay, maybe hide those sketches. Therefore, it would be really useful if you have that show hide here in the quick access toolbar. And it's not there, so let's go to View and put this tool to the Quick Access Toolbar. Go there and hide all the sketches. Great. Close this one. Now, let's start with the chamfers. So go for Home Chamfer. It's asymmetric, yes, and I want to go for 10 and 15. Let's see if this works on this edge. No, it should be turned around and if we want to do it on the same one over here this one should be turned around so both will be turned around that doesn't work so deactivate this 
by selecting it once more go for another set and then it will work great and okay now let's do blends so go for 10 millimeter on this edge and that edge apply and 50 millimeter on this edge here and that edge apply and then we can go for 20 millimeters on these edges like that and confirm great okay maybe hide those planes that would be a good idea so hide those planes okay and now go for the holes go for the hole tool uh, first time it would be 45 yes normal to face until next that would be okay select this point here that one here yeah apply and then rotate go to this point same values that's okay apply now you have to be careful you have to wait at least with my computer it's a little bit slow somehow and now I want to have 10 millimeters and let's go for this point here tap that looks okay and confirm so one last extrude is missing I need to cut something and therefore I need that sketch how to find that sketch quickly so I suppose it's up there this could be the one let's take a look no so this one it's the right one and I want to make an extrude so go for home go for extrude the sketch here it should be symmetric it should be two millimeter and in this case I want to subtract it and confirm great hide that sketch again now what's missing all those blends fillets rounds I will leave that up to you and I will restart the recording after I've done all those blends so I've created all those blends and I'm done so I hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on instagram grabcat facebook and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye